What's up everybody, Deacon James, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk with you about something that most people in this industry aren't gonna tell you up front, but being your good friend, I'm gonna tell you the truth. And that truth is, you suck. Look, let's get it clear. I say you suck, not to dishearten you or be a jerk or anything like that. I merely say it because it's true. People expect that they're going to pull a brand new camera out of a box, take some pictures, put some filters on it or presets or whatever they call it, and they're gonna think they're amazing. But in fact, you suck. Very few people have ever say, gotten a musical instrument and began to play it at an expert level. In reality, no one ever really does that. It takes a lot of time and a lot of shots in order to master your craft, to just get good with taking photos with available light. Which is why in most colleges, when you go for a degree in photography, you spend the first year or the first semester at the very least taking photos in black and white and with whatever available light is there and of whatever light happens to fall upon. You don't go to a photography school in your first semester or your first year, you're already learning how to use strobe and flash. Those are absolutely advanced techniques. And even then, when you first start learning how to use that, you're gonna suck. It's just the kind of natural progression of learning anything new. What I see happening a lot though, is people will put up work that isn't great and it really does need a lot of work and it's one of those situations where you need a lot of practice to really get good yet the moment anyone says that the work that you're presenting maybe isn't the best work or it needs more work people immediately become offended and defensive of their work by calling it art i recently saw images that were highly overexposed and you could tell that the photographer was brand new, or fairly new, hopefully. When others brought to the attention of the photographer that the images were overexposed, the response was, they're not overexposed, they're art. Now, that's some new level of bullshit that people need to stop with. Yes, I do know that some artists taped a banana to a wall and charged a hundred thousand dollars for it and called it art yes i get it but here's the deal with photography there are rules there are laws of physics that we utilize and, and can't do it without them the idea that overexposing your images and putting them out in the world overexposed to the point where details are lost doesn't necessarily make it art. And it's most certainly not art if you don't know how to properly expose your images. Learning how to properly expose your images comes from a lot of practice and a lot of learning and, and being mentored by individuals who are much better than you or at least much further along in the process than you are. Isn't this why any of us go to school for anything or get training in anything? A lot of what I find people are doing these days, especially in various photography groups that I see, they're looking for people to affirm that they're wonderful and that the quality of their work is great, even when it is not. And then when a photographer who actually knows the difference steps forward and says, hey, this work could be better and here's how to make it better or here's why it's not as good as it could be, immediately people seem to go on the defensive and want to argue that and defend, well, what amounts to be substandard work. Well, yeah, you suck, but you can get better. Look, I've been doing these YouTube videos and I know they suck, they're horrible, I know it, but I'm gonna keep doing them until they suck less. And then maybe one day they won't suck at all. I granted, I'm not a Peter McKinnon or a Casey Neistat or any of these people that put together these amazing videos. But I can be. 
and I'll work to it. I know I suck. The difference is, is that I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep watching other videos. I'm going to keep learning how to do what I'm trying to do and get to where I'm trying to get to. Sucking isn't always a bad thing. If you embrace the suck as it is, you can then improve. You can get better. You can do better. I look at my photography work oftentimes and I go, damn, that sucks. Now, I'm not saying that because I don't believe that I'm good at what I do or that I don't know. I just say that because in my mind, I can see everything wrong with the image and I know that I can do it better. Every time I, I take out my camera and I do photos, I learn, man, I should have done this differently. I should have posed that way, posed her that way or posed the subject this way, or I should have exposed that, or I should have put a light back there, or I should have. And that's for me. I suck. Because make no mistake, there are photographers out there, people that I call on when I want to talk about photography, when I want to learn things about lighting, who will look at my stuff and say, DJ, you suck. I've had numerous editors over the years of magazines tell me, this work sucks. Do better. Now, they say that. They didn't offer up what could make it better or what could be better. They just said it sucked. Come back to me when you have something worth printing. I know that that sounds really harsh, but that's the way editors talk back in the 80s and 90s. What that did was motivate me to do better, to learn more, to figure out what I did wrong and how to fix it. When you understand that you suck at something new, you then get to work on it. You then get to learn how to become better. You then learned to seek out those who have information you need. It's okay to suck. So long as you're learning to do it better and you're striving to do it better. The thing I tell people is stop being so sensitive about your work. Stop being married to your work. Be open for criticism. Everybody talks about constructive criticism. This, criticism by its very nature is usually constructive. Somebody has told you something is either wrong or something is either right. And you extrapolate from that what you need to work on to fix it, to make the next one better. That's all I got for you guys this week. Holidays are right around the corner. That's pretty exciting. So happy holidays to all of you who observe the various holidays and those of you who just get some time off. Happy holidays. I also wanted to thank all of the uh, subscribers. I just broke 100 subscribers and that means now I get a good vanity uh, URL for my YouTube channel and that's really awesome. And thank you guys and thank you to the people who have been commenting. I definitely appreciate it. It really helps me and really helps kind of keep my head in the game. And, and I definitely want to continue making more videos for you, even though I suck. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week and uh, stay well.